So let's jump right in here and take a look. How am I gonna turn a blank space, nothing in it, into a comfortable little home, an apartment on wheels. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Now this is an unusual shot here. I'm standing in front of U-Haul in the town in front of big mountains. That's not something I normally do. I'm in Anchorage, Alaska right now. I have flown home to Anchorage to spend time with my son. I didn't want to drive, so I flew in and I rented a U-Haul. And I'll do a video on renting a U-Haul as opposed to driving. Uh, and I think you'll be surprised just how cheap it is to fly and then rent the U-Haul. It's saved me thousands. But while I was here, I, I need to stay in the U-Haul. Um, I'm gonna take trips around Alaska. I'm spending a lot of time with my son, obviously, but I'm gonna travel around Alaska and see it. So I wanted to outfit the van to be comfortable while I was here. It's surprisingly cheap and I am completely outfitting it to live in. So this video is all about the essentials of living in a van. So I went around to thrift stores, uh, I went to Walmart, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, and I went to uh, Home Depot and got everything I needed to make this a comfortable home. So let's jump right in here and take a look. How am I gonna turn a blank space, nothing in it, into a comfortable little home, an apartment on wheels. Let's do that now. So here we are inside a blank, open, full-sized van. So we're going to go through the list of essentials, what you really just kind of have to have. And I'll have a price. As I've said, I've gone to thrift stores and bought everything I could at thrift stores, then at Walmart, and a little bit at Home Depot. And those things will get you about as cheap as you can get into living in a vehicle. Now, of course, it's a full-size van, and so I'll narrow it down for you if you're in a car or a minivan or an SUV. Things will be pretty different, but the essentials are still going to be the same. Now you want to replicate the four primary functions of a house. If you think of it that way, what do I do in my house? I might have 3,000 square foot house, but there are still really only four functions that you do in that house. Number one, you sleep. <laughs> I mean, you need a, a warm, dry, comfortable place to sleep, so you sleep. That's a bedroom. The second function is a kitchen. You gotta eat. So you have to set up some kind of kitchen. Number three thing that you do in a house is you go to the bathroom. You have body waste you have to get rid of. You have to stay clean, you have to take showers, all those things that happen inside a bathroom. We need to duplicate inside here. And finally, you have leisure and work and recreation. So you might have a big living room where you just leisure and you just sit around. You have a TV, maybe you have a game room. So you need a place to sit comfortably in your house. And of course, outside of your house. Let's go ahead and get started right now. We'll start with the bedroom because you got to get a good night's sleep. If you don't get a good night's sleep, ah, oh boy, you're just going to be hurting. So the first thing you have to do is you've got these wheel wells and they are a problem. So you need to know how long the wheel well is. This one's about 36 or 37 inches. Whatever I do for a bed and I'm going to do a cot, it's got to have space for 36 or 37, I'd say 38. Just be careful, just be generous. First thing I did, I went out to a sportsman's warehouse because they have a big selection of cots and I bought a cot. So there is my bed. How simple was that? This was $119 at, uh, at sportsman's warehouse. It was on sale. And uh, it's a, it seems like a really high quality. It's an Alps. I'll put a link below to everything uh, at Amazon, so you can just order it off Amazon, usually save a little money. When I bought this, it's 82 inches long, and there's a leg exactly in the center. I knew that would go over my wheel well. So now I've got a place to sleep, and I got a lot of storage underneath. I haven't drilled a screw or cut a piece of wood or done anything, I haven't cut plastic. This may or may not be comfortable enough for you to sleep on just by itself. But I'll guarantee you this, in the winter when it gets cold, all the cold air will come right through there and it'll make you cold. So the next step of what I suggest you do is buy a backpacker sleeping pad because they exist 
primarily for warmth and secondarily for comfort. Here's the camping pad. You've probably seen these at Walmart. You can get them at Walmart, lots of places. You can get them higher or lower prices. I believe this was $18. If I ever tell you the price is wrong, you'll, I'll put up a, a sign saying what the right price was, but I'm pretty sure this was $18. And if you, this isn't as comfortable as you'd like, uh, I would just go to Walmart or order off of Amazon a little, um, uh, a little inch and a half, two inches of memory foam topper. Next, you want to think about blankets. Now, of course, you probably have blankets at home, so just bring the blankets you have. You don't have to go out and buy them. Blankets are just like clothes in the cold. You want layers. Layers are critically important. By having multiple sizes, multiple layers, you adjust the blankets to the temperature. And that's so why I really like and suggest that you buy a range of sizes. But I'm assuming you have your own sheets. You probably have some blankets. But because you're going to be in the van, you might be colder than you think. Even if you go to the desert in the winter, you'll probably be colder than you think. So this is a blanket that I bought at a thrift store. It was $9, but it's pretty darn thick. Uh, I think this will be very warm and comfortable in the winter. This is a light, thin blanket, and it was $9. These, both these blankets are in really good shape. Uh, I got this for $9 at a, a thrift store. There's our bedroom. The most important thing is done. You've got a bed and a place to sleep. We need organization for our van, for all the stuff we're going to have in here. You really want to get organized right from the beginning. And so I have bought a number of organizational tools. First, I found this uh, at a thrift store. It was $7 and it fits perfectly in this location. Uh, you're gonna have to find a way to keep the drawers themselves from opening. I would suggest a bungee cord around the middle and then a little dowel or a stick you find on the woods to keep all three from opening. But as you can see, that fills in this really good space. If I'm sitting on the bed, it gives me a place to put stuff. Next, I bought a pretty big set of drawers. So I picked this up at Walmart. I couldn't find a larger one for, for uh, any less money. This was, I think, this was $24 and some change at Walmart. And so I think it will set here. You know, I can cook on this. I could sit right here. Uh, I could put a laptop here and watch uh, my videos or whatever I'm doing. Everything, of course, in here is metal. If you have a newer minivan or car, you're not going to have much metal at all. So that's a, a drawback. Uh, but if I have something with magnets, I can just hang magnets and hang lots of things off them. But all I have to do is run bungees cords across here. The next thing I got was a two drawer filing cabinet. And I know that sounds pretty weird. So as you can see, my two drawer filing cabinet fits perfectly here. The door closes just fine. I checked it. So it's such a handy, handy thing to have a, a two drawer filing cabinet. You know, you got a lot of stuff you carry just for the rig. And so that could all go in here, be stacked up, be neatly organized. It's heavy. Uh, of course, that it will last forever and never, you couldn't hardly ever destroy it unless you go at it with a sledgehammer. And I hope you're not going to do that. I thought for 10 bucks, it's amazing. Okay, last but not least for organization, I picked up three of these totes. So you get a lot of space here that I'm not using. And I want to I want to be able to use every inch that I can. So as you can see, these will go right under the bed. And that is a huge plus. You're going to get an amazing amount of good or uh, organization by putting a couple of totes underneath the bed. Digging to the bottom of one of these big totes is a real pain in the butt. I like the half height ones much better and you just get two of them. Okay, so far I have got a ton, ton of organization and for not much money. Let me tell you something I like for organization even better and that is cheap duffel bags. This one was $8. This is a pretty nice duffel bag. So what I would do is I would keep um, bedding. So you have all your winter bedding. You're not going to be using that in the summer. So you, it will go in here. You have uh, winter clothes or summer clothes. They will go in here. This was $7, and it's actually the bigger one. I'm not sure why, how their pricing works. but uh, And then one of these could be dirty clothes. 
Now, of course, the next thing is a bathroom. You have to duplicate the function of a bathroom. You need to be able to remove your bodily waste, poop and pee, of course, and you need to be able to stay clean and shower. You know I'm gonna to talk to you about a five gallon bucket. I mean, I have used a five gallon bucket in a van or some vehicle for 20 years. I just can't be improved on. Now you can buy the seat, Walmart sells seats. I didn't buy one, I thought about it, but I think they're 15, $20. I just sit right on it. You can also use pool noodles or even pipe insulation. This isn't the only choice, but this is five bucks and it will last you forever. It will never fail. So you got your five gallon bucket for poop. You gotta have something for pee. You need a pee pot. You gotta have a pot to piss in, you gotta. For all the other stuff, you're gonna need a basin, a water basin. Uh, I can wash my hair in here, even if you have long hair. You can do your dishes in here, you can do a sponge bath on all over. You should have washcloths and towels in your home. You just bring them with you. Or in between, just plain old wet wipes. I mean, just plain old wet wipes. That's basically all you need to stay clean. Now, one of the big things you have in a bathroom is a mirror. This is a little Kuglin's um, camp mirror. I like these a lot. You can find lots of places in here to hang a mirror. You need a mirror. Now let's talk about kitchen. You're gonna need a stove. You just gotta have a stove. You, you could eat all cold food. That would be an option. I like a stove. I went to uh, Walmart and bought this single burner propane stove, two pack of propane bottles. You might wanna get butane instead. There's a lot of advantages to butane. There's disadvantages. They had a uh, butane stove at Walmart, but they were out of fuel. That's why I didn't buy it, because the fuel is an issue. So these just screw on. I much prefer the little uh, flat Coleman's, but they're not, I uh, wasn't available locally. That's it. it. Just put your pot on here. It's tall and it's ungainly, but it works and it packs down to nothing. Okay, next you're gonna need a couple of pots and pans. And I bought these at the thrift store and I was actually pretty darn surprised by their quality and condition. A two quart pot, so if you have a can of chili, you can throw a can of chili in here, but if you wanna make some spaghetti, you can also uh, cook spaghetti. You're gonna need a frying pan, you're gonna fry a hamburger occasionally, you're gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches, and of course, you probably have them at home. Just bring with you whatever you have at home. This one was five bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. The interior is surprisingly good shape. And this is T-Fall. The nonstick is quite good, and I paid eight for this. So a lot cheaper than you're gonna get at a store. Next up in our kitchen, we need to get organized. So I recommend that you take a tote and dedicate it to the kitchen. And that way, if you're gonna cook outside, it's all in a tote. You pick the tote up, you go outside, and you cook. I bought this silverware, 50 cents each. If you don't have silverware, you can take with you thrift stores where you wanna buy silverware. You can buy one at a time. And then I would just put that down here inside. And then I'd keep this done and I could then cook inside or outside. One more thing we need in the kitchen is a cooler. There are people who don't use coolers in their van life and that's, wow, that's amazing. I wish I could have done that. I've never been able to do that. For a cooler, I use a 12 volt compressor fridge. I, for, for probably a year or two, I used ice. And man, ice is just such a pain. But if that's all you can afford, that's what you have to do right now, you're going today, then an ice chest is obviously the answer. So I picked this up and obviously it's not a traditional cooler, but neither is it a cooler price. I got paid $4 for this. I'm in Alaska visiting my son, as I said. And in Alaska, people freeze fish to mail home a lot. And that's kind of what these are designed for. Four bucks at a thrift store. I didn't hesitate. I bought this thing right up. Amazingly, we so far have, for not much money, uh, replicated all the functions of a house except the one. And that is lounging. Well, for me, I have always just used uh, my bed as my chair. I'm not sure how that'll work with a cot. I've never owned a cot before. I'd have to sit on something so my knees weren't on there, but I believe I could be comfortable sitting in this chair.
if I'm outside, I'm not going to sit on my bed, of course. This, uh, that's, you're going to need something else besides that. So I bought a chair. I believe I got this at Value Village. I also went to Goodwill, and so I did both of them. And I found a pretty nice, good condition chair. It's very solid and well built. I think it's going to last. Uh, and it was five bucks. And I can sit on it in here. You know, I could just sit right here if I wanted to not sit on the bed. Five bucks for a chair, and I'm just sitting right here and pretty darn comfortable doing it. And of course, then I can take it outside and have an outside home as well, an outside camp. Outside, when you set up your outside camp, you need a you need a table, and you also may need a work table inside as well. So this is just a simple TV tray. Um, I think this is going to last a long time. This was $7 at a thrift store. One last thing you're going to need to replicate your house is you have windows. And even though this is a cargo van, I have quite a lot of windows. And you can't just have your windows open. All your neighbors will stare at you, see what you're doing, and who wants that? That's where Reflectix comes in. Now, this is not actual Reflectix. Uh, this is a clone brand, but it seems very good. I bought it at Home Depot. They didn't sell Reflectix. They just sold this clone brand. I'll just compression fit it into the windows, cut it to fit the windows, push it in, and they usually will stay. If not, I can get magnets. That'll keep the heat out in the summer and it'll keep the heat in in the winter. So this is just, this is money well spent. This was 10 bucks for um, 10 foot, 24 inches by 10 foot. So that's it. I have duplicated all the primary functions, the four primary functions of a whole house. I'm doing it all in this 60 square feet. I think that's pretty amazing. I've done it for cheap. I'll keep a running total. It'll be up down here and down in the description. I'll have a link to everything on Amazon that you'll need. Uh, again, hit thrift stores first. You're going to save a lot of money, at least two thirds of the price if you go to a thrift store. And I know it seems expensive at a thrift store. It seemed that way to me. However, go to Walmart even and it seems outrageous. There you go. A complete essentials van build for not much money. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to you, that you see that you can get the essentials of living in a van or, or a vehicle of some kind for really cheap, not much money, uh, and easy. No work. I didn't cut a single board. I didn't drive a nail. I went to the store. I bought some stuff. I threw it in there. And now I've got a really, really comfortable home. And I get to visit with my son and drive over all over Alaska and have my own little apartment on wheels. I really like that. And I hope you've gotten an idea. Oh, yeah, that was a good idea. I can do that because you can. Uh, you really can do that. So if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later. And remember, die with excess memories, not for I wish I could have, wish I had of, die with extra wonderful memories. You'll be glad you did. Bye now.